What is up everyone, my name is Wombos and this time we have a guide or more like uh, some secrets that others don't talk about or even know. Uh, these tips will definitely give you an edge and an advantage over other hunters in the bayou. Uh, we will have three ultra rare secret tips uh, to talk about today. The second and third will help you a lot uh, when it comes to tracking down other hunters or the objective itself uh, and just gathering visual uh, informations. Other than visual informations, audio will help you a lot in Hunt Rodan, uh, but we will talk about that in another video. If I continue to roll series like this, Hunt have amazing audio and please use that to your advantage. Uh, but now I'm gonna jump straight into the first secret that also inspired me to make this uh, video and I call this one candy shop it's basically related to the latest boss scrap pick he's fourth boss and if you are not familiar with one of his uh, unique passive abilities it's called hoarder uh, it means basically he collects everything in 100 meters radius around him but we found his secret storage he collects the, the tools uh, meds uh, loots even like cash register spawns and envelopes I think but everything that's in in the compound area but outside his reach which means outside 100 meters range uh, that's where the storage is or the candy shops they are full full of loot heavy loot in there I'm gonna roll some clips to show you or basically you can use a hunt map online use the ruler and see what's 100 meters away from his lair and just check those buildings up hit up the buildings furthest from the lair and you'll be surprised what you can find in there this one I saw first time when I played with Gunsmack and Hornet uh, and they showed me that at Davant Ranch after that I just went to search if there is any similar buildings on other maps and to my surprise some of them are even more stacked uh, so check for candy shop if you are engaging scrap eclair if you need some supplies in the fight uh, and if the fight is dragged out and really stale and you're just out of meds out of uh, tools uh, ammo whatever like just, just check for his storage all right here's the online map uh, i'll put the link to it down in the description as well so you can simply go there or i mean if you don't want to explore on your own in the bounty hunt just go on the web click the ruler click on the like layer roughly and check what's it's outside the 100 meters range as you see like these buildings here we're supposed to be candy shops while these buildings here they're still like in in his range and he probably grabbed everything from him i'm checking well, these houses this german uh, yeah this german house is here great these houses are candy shops man Mm. Because crab big looted everything. I just figured out this mechanic. There's loot and everything. Uh, the upgrade points. I'm gonna make a video about this, man. Like when Scrabbic is here, everything that's outside his range is instantly candy shop for loot, man. All right, and right away, let's move on to the second one. No time wasted. Uh, it's This one's more known than the candy shop, but I still teach my viewers about it daily. And I don't see it mentioned uh, as much in the other guides. Uh, we call this one simply renders on, or windows check. So what you will see me do a lot when I spawn is check if the shutters are rendered or windows are rendered. If they are not, that means no one spawned there or no one spawned the windows as well. Basically how AI and uh, windows slash doors, uh, even birds uh, spawn works is every player's got uh, their radius around them. Uh, let's say roughly 150 meters and when you breach that radius you spawn the doors windows shutters everything so instantly here i know no one spawned golden as well because there's no windows you'll see if i close in there uh, those windows will spawn also good use of spyglass if you're playing shotguns you can instantly say with spyglass if someone's there also after a while i'm not sure exactly how long it's gonna pass all the stuffs will despawn to unload the the pressure on the server uh, again in time so you will see if the players that actually spawn stuffs left the area if the the windows despawn see now the shutters are there the windows are there because I walked into that radius there, I probably spawned the AI as well. Like, I don't heavily rely on this tactic, uh, but it's free info, and honestly, the mystery of hunt is long gone for me, and I personally, I can track players down easily. I mainly use this one to know where enemies are coming from, if there is no shots like now, or just to have pointers as to where to seek PvP. It is cheesy strat, uh, but also it's been in many games that use uh, resources, the same way CryEngine does, and it's been in hunt forever, honestly. If you see stuff spawn in a distance, you are going in the right way. And we found a boss. It's gonna be perfect one as well. Uh, 
We, we can jump into the third freaking uh, tip instantly. So now, I also walked in here. I walked close. I spawned the boss, right? I'm gonna show you the third tip that I have for you. So, we discovered the boss. You don't need to enter in there. You can also collect all three clues to discover the boss. And because I'm close to the boss and I'm the one who spawned it, this circle on the map is gonna move when the boss moves as well. This circle is actually a real-time boss in-game. So when players are near it, that means boss spawn, and the boss is gonna run around and move eventually. It is Spider, so Spider sometimes loves to chill in the corners. But if you go near him, if you fight him, he's moving around, and with him, the circle is moving around as well. You see now the circle is there. The spider moved. Now it's there. So naturally, when players are inside and they're fighting the spider, he's gonna be all over the place. That's not only for spider, of course. I'm taking him now because he's in our game. So this third one is similar to the second one when it comes to info. And you will usually hear me ask team to check the circle or the boss moving if uh, we have three clues uh, collected. The way it works is similar to the second one. Uh, in a way that if other players are close to the boss, they will spawn it. And uh, circle is literally the boss on the minimap. And you will see him move around and tell if players are near there. You saw it earlier, when I was near the boss, he was triggered and he was moving around. Uh, after a while, same like with doors, uh, shutters, uh, AI, birds, everything, the boss also despawns. Uh, and he's gonna go silent and not move around on the map too much. This, once again, only works if all three clues are collected. And it's always not 100%, since uh, they can literally kill the boss. And naturally, it will stop moving if it's dead. Uh, so don't assume it's clear and no one's on the boss if you just like look at the, the map and circle is not moving. Sometimes assume it's even dead. That's when the, the audio plays the role. You close in the compound and if you don't hear the boss, most likely it's dead and you're just waiting on the corpse. And <laughs> lucky me, I was just about to exit the game, but now someone's on the boss there and it started moving again. So the second and third one are really really big information uh details or tips all right now that we close down on the three big on or main secrets that i wanted to share in this video i can just like roll on top of the head uh, some bonus tips that will help you and uh, one of them is smart use of pings we're gonna dive right into the game and i'm telling you about the smart usage of pings uh, even when you're solo pings can help you out all right this one all depends on the the barricade, the doors, uh, but basically what smart use of pings is, or how I use it on my own, naturally on the streams, and I always see someone freak out whenever I pull this off, but it's, it's no science, honestly, it's just no-brainer. You ping the barricade where it is, you go outside the line of sight, and you just shoot the barricade, or, or shoot the ping. Just open the doors. Enemies will not expect you there, there's not gonna be traps. Usually, 9 out of 10 times, they won't even bother checking that side of the buildings if you and your team is fast and efficient enough. Uh, I use this one a lot in the Windy Run, but I'm, I'm in the training mode right now. You know the Windy Run, it's got like, in the lair, each side's got barricaded doors and they are so easy to breach with like, uh, ping use. Uh, and you can help out your team as well. If they are pushing the main doors, you can have easy and free flank. Even here, as I said, all depends on which doors you're breaching. You can use a windfield, you can use long ammo you can use medium ammo it is really efficient and uh, they most of the time won't expect you there another bonus tip that people ask me almost daily on streams like uh, newcomers coming in and asking steady aim how does it work which guns does it affect steady hand as well uh, and simply if you're on pc this doesn't work on consoles you just want to type like steady aim in your store and it will tell you which weapons it affects that's for every perk as well you can go steady hand tells you this uh fanning yeah you, you get me so just type the perk name and it will display what you can use it on and last but not least uh, bonus tip we spoke about butcher's head or pig head on windy entrance and hemlock hanging corpses on my ultimate boss guide if you have not checked the ultimate boss guide click it right now i'll put the link in top right corner or i will slap you back to the menu but did you know that now in fishery on the south there are these hooks that will give away each boss spawning there if you see the web that means spiders there pig head for Butcher, what looks like a bug high for assassin and scrap beak's nest uh, for a scrap beak. 
It is really neat to confirm uh, from distance that the boss spawned there if you are just passing by and wanna quick check. Check for renders and check for the boss spawn. Alright, that would be it for this ultimate top secret guide that's gonna make you good hunter. I really wanted to keep this as short as possible and tell you as much as I can. Uh, I might do more similar guides, uh, as I mentioned on the start, next one might be about a sound or maybe a combat guide uh, about telling you the stuffs that will give you advantage in combat. If you learned something from this guide, uh, drop a like and subscribe, it will mean a lot to me. Share it with a friend as well. Uh, also stop by my Twitch, I'm full time there, Mondays through Friday, always same time, 1pm Central European time. Enjoy your day and I'll see you in the bio. Take care.